Emily. Yeah, you know, just focusing back on the northern border for a moment, um, you know, it's a misnomer when people say, and now the droves are coming from Canada. You know, it's via. And that's yeah. illustrated, remember, at the southern border, we had reports of over 150 countries represented by the millions of illegal immigrants flooding over the southern border. Canada is no different, illustrated horrifically by the fact that an entire Indian family froze to death in that terrain, as did a Haitian man. And we know that the Swanton sector saw in just under four months twice as many illegal immigrants as they had in the two years prior. And as the Border Patrol chief points out, you know, the risks are absorbed not only by the migrants who die under those atrocious conditions, as they do at the southern border too, at the hands of the transnational narco cartels and insidious extremist groups represented in the terrorist watch list uh, apprehensions that we've undergone, but also by the Border Patrol, right? And remember, Specialist Bishop Evans, you went to his memorial there at the southern border. He died in the Rio Grande trying to save migrants. The same is happening and will happen at the northern border. I wonder what the name will be of the soldier who dies trying to save someone at the northern border. And well, I have to point out, you know, every forward operating, operating base, every FOB that we've been to in Iraq and, and the like, every every fully operational military base every in foreign soil and here in this country right they have a, a boundary they have a fortified boundary so why is it that in our our homeland on our home soil our borders northern now and southern are absolutely open it's preposterous and it's because of not only weak policies but unfortunately our weak well, president